Oh shit. Good morning. Oh my back. Yeah, my back is stuck. Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. What else am I doing today? Going out for a walk with my dad. Walk around the park. Um, and then tonight, it's a Wednesday. Probably cry. Why don't you have a topic for this video? And um, let me get, let me get onto that. Give me, just give me a second. I need to, I need to go up with some stuff. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So I did say that this video um, has a topic, has a theme, has something that I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about university, uh, what to expect, tips for freshers. But yeah, I'm going to do a few videos like this covering some stuff for freshers going to their first year of university. This is what I'm doing now. I hope this helps someone. I don't know who it would help, but we'll see. So tip number one I am probably going to suggest is look out for societies. Now, through group chats and whatnot, people from societies reached out to me. I was very fortunate. So with societies, um, they're basically student-led groups and clubs. It may be a sport, it may be a specific one to do with a certain topic. For instance, York has over 200. So we have ones like Louis Ferru Society, we have television, radio, two newspapers, magazine, uh, football, to rugby, to underwater hockey. But yeah, uh, most universities have societies uh, if they have a student union. Stuff like societies, that's how uh, many people meet a lot of their friends, especially if you're not doing a subject where there's a lot of in-person learning and you're going to meet people that you're probably never ever going to come into contact with. I mean, pretty much all societies are run by students and their social medias are run by students. I would definitely suggest even just giving them a follow if you really want to. Feel free to message them and they always have an email if there's a student union website, you can find their email. Sometimes, like for Wise TV, I could join meetings even before I was at the university and it really helps you in Freshers Week to get the ball rolling. You already have that contact, you already know when the Freshers sessions have started. So that leads me on to tip number two, which is Fresher Week. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening all at once. You're going to be meeting your flatmates, you're going to be moving into your room, living independently, having to do shopping, cooking your own food, going out, partying, drinking a lot, drinking more than you think, not remembering the night before, lots of people shouting at you, lots of people following you on Instagram, your social media is going to go crazy, creepy people messaging you. A lot of stuff happens in Freshers Week and it can be very overwhelming. A tip that I would suggest for Freshers Week is doing as much as you can but also not pushing it too far. So I say definitely take advantage of Freshers Week, all the free stuff. Sometimes you get free merch from the university. We got free pizza from Domino's, it was great. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So possibly check out your university's website and see what's going on. So if you're like me and before university you didn't really cook a lot, it can be a bit daunting. I remember being really scared and really worrying about, oh no, I'm not gonna live, I'm gonna starve and die. So I would definitely say cookbooks are a great way to go. Uh, if you're looking around your accommodation before you go in, take note of what your oven is, what you're cooking with, uh, and maybe look up tutorials online on how to use it. Uh, know what you're working with before you turn up and move in. First impressions always count, and that goes for online and offline. Usually, before you go to university, if you're moving into dorms, it can be very, very scary. You're probably most likely going to be living near or around other people, so definitely get involved with Facebook groups and group chats before you go. I was in a group chat within 10 minutes with the people I'm gonna be spending my whole year with. It helps a lot to break the ice, and you're happy with the people you're living with. Uh, it's very important to know you're comfortable with the people you're spending your time with and that's okay with you because the last thing you want to be worrying about is you know scared to go into the kitchen scared to to go back in your flat no one should want to feel like this the best time to change flats or move around would be at the start of the year in first term universities are supposed to be safe environments and i'm sure the university would completely understand you if you don't feel safe is get to know the people you're staying with and it seems like a very basic one it's like oh of course but trust me uh, it helps a lot. Fifth and final tip for this list is pre-drink. Uh, <laughs> it sounds stupid. It, it does sound stupid. You're gonna you're gonna thank me later. Uh, ha have have fun. Um, enjoy it. You know, there's so much stress that's surrounding you. Moving out. That's that's a fact. You're growing up. The last thing you want to do is be thinking about everything that's going on and how fast your life is moving. It's scary. It's it's scary. It's a this is next level. Drinks from supermarkets cost a lot less. But also stay safe, you know, you don't want to get get to know the town before you go. This is the end of day three. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.